Hi, welcome to Mine What Episode 2. In this episode, we're going to take a look at what it takes to set up Minecraft in your classroom. Episode 1 was all about looking at how Minecraft works in the classroom, some very simple basics just so you can see what it looks like. Today's episode is going to focus on five steps to take you from idea to actually having it in your classroom. Now, you're going to need the cooperation of your IT director or your tech coordinator of your district as well as your administrative team uh, or uh, whoever is in charge of your building. So if you look in the description below, I actually have a link to a sample email that you can send to an administrator just so you can get your foot in the door so you can talk to them about why it is that you might want to use Minecraft in the classroom. In the description, I also have a link to several other uh, quick read articles that give some really great information about Minecraft in the classroom. One of the main benefits of using Minecraft education in the classroom is metacognition. Students are thinking about how they're thinking without even realizing that they're doing it. And we'll talk about that in a later episode. Without further ado, MindWatt Episode 2. Step 1 is determining why it is you want to use Minecraft education in the classroom. This is an important question. Why do you want to create an immersive environment? Why do you want to play in the digital world? And once you come up with the answer to these questions, then the next thing you need to determine is one concrete idea you could most immediately implement in your classroom. I think this will really help when you go to your district tech coordinator or you go to your administrator. If you have a concrete idea, then it makes it a little more tangible. I would formalize this process by specifically writing out what it is that you want to do, how it is you want to use Minecraft in the classroom, and take those written ideas to your administrator. Step two is talking with an administrator. You'll see a link in the description below with a sample email that you can send to an administrator just to get the ball rolling, just to have a conversation about what this might look like in your class. There's also links to a few short articles about why Minecraft Education Edition is so beneficial. I would highly suggest that you print these out and bring these to the meeting that you have with your administrator. Also be sure to read these before you go to the meeting. You may end up finding yourself discussing gaming in the classroom first and then moving into Minecraft Education Edition. I would also suggest that you direct your administrator to the Minecraft Education website. It's filled with tons of resources, tons of great articles for them to check out, and lots of different examples as to how teachers are using Minecraft Education Edition in their classroom all over the world. Step three is getting your IT or district tech coordinator on board, and this is going to take some work on their part. First thing they're going to have to do is set up Office 365 accounts for all of your students. And for a number of organizations, this is completely free. And if you have any questions, you can always go to the Minecraft Education website, and they've got specifications there for free organizations. You're also going to have to purchase Minecraft Education Edition app, and then you're going to have to apply it to each of the student accounts before you begin playing. This is account based, which means students can play at home, which is very nice. Step four is actually installing Minecraft Education Edition. And you're going to have to use a laptop or desktop and then download the program from the Minecraft Education website, which is also one of the links in the description below. I would highly suggest installing it on a mobile lab, as more teachers could use it then, or you could also have a stationary lab. Remember, Minecraft Education Edition will not work on a Chromebook. Also, be sure that you update Minecraft Education before you begin playing. Step five. This is probably the most fun part, and this is the play for yourself. Video one was a chance for you to see what Minecraft is. Now, you need to take some time to just play. After your district tech coordinator sets up your account, spend a few hours looking through Minecraft, have some fun, explore the worlds, and see what Minecraft Education Edition might have to offer for both you and your students. The more you play, the more ideas you'll have about how to implement it in your own classroom. 